Welcome to Wing Tech Corner, part two of the ATmega 328P board. Quick uh, 30 seconds fast forward through um, basically creating the 50 by 50 millimeter uh, board with M3 mounting holes. If you want to see how this is done, um, you can look at my M3 mounting hole uh, PC B board uh, video. The link will be in the description. But I added it here just you know for the sake of completeness. Wish I can do it that fast, but uh, yeah. All right, so we're going to start placing parts on the board, and we want to place the parts um, aligned with what the um, the 2.54 millimeter standard spacings are. So what I've done is I've set it to one quarter of that. Um, this will allow me to place the parts with a little bit more um, flexibility. So. Now, I placed the processor right in the middle of the board. Um, you don't really have to do that. And at the beginning, I'm really just kind of placing parts, uh, finding a place to put them so that they're in the general vicinity of the pins on the IC that they need to connect to. This will make routing easier, as well as result in uh, shorter traces. Um, I'm also making sure that the pins are more or less aligned and I'm, I'm going to try to avoid cases where there's multiple lines sort of just crisscrossing each other. Um, that's a lot of stuff that's going to create um, a large number of unnecessary vias and if you're designing a board for production at home with your own CNC machine or a mill or something else, um, vias, having a large number of vias is just really going to be a pain. If you're shipping it off to uh, a fab house um, like Osh Park or Dirty PCB, then honestly, you can have 500 vias and no one's really going to care too much about it. Um, it's it's all just going to be handled by the machines. Um, so here you can see all the various headers that I have, and I'm just gonna. I kind of like to make things symmetrical, so I'm going to try to get the um, communication headers that are like the one by fours at the top and then the breakout banks um, sort of just on the side. And like I said, I'm really just kind of finding a place for where everything fits here at first. I'm not trying to create the final uh, placement for any of these parts. You'll notice that I've got everything labeled quite nicely. Um, it's pretty easy to see at a glance which part goes, you know, in which grouping. And I, I'm going to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to sort of just arrange them off to the side so that they're spaced about approximately the way I want them to. And then what I'll do is I will move them as a whole group over um, to the final place. And yeah, I'm trying not, I'm trying to avoid having them placed in positions where they're gonna end up sort of crossing um, labels and stuff. It's gonna make them hard to pick up later, but for now it's fine. Yep, and that's about it. Um, so this is pretty much completes the rough placement of the parts. Check out part three for when we do the fine tuning. Thank you. Uh, please hit the subscribe. I appreciate comments. And thank you for watching my video.